that the bluefin cranes used to be here in Louisiana, but because of hunting and stuff like that, they were over harvested and they were they were eliminated from the area. So right now we're trying to reintroduce them to the area. We want them to come back. So, so again, this is Mr. Smith here. And uh, so guys, as we said before, we Louisiana right has a rich, some, uh, rich, rich uh, variety of type animals. And and other wildlife, and um, lots of different things. So eggs. today we have so some folks from the wildlife and fisheries eggs, that have come to talk to us about the many different types of species enough, we have in Louisiana. They're transported down here where the biologists take these cranes. So when the cranes come to us, they look like this. They look a little different than in that last picture I showed you, right? They kind of got some brown on them. They're not all white with that red on their head. So when they come in, they, they look like this because they're young birds and they haven't grown into those adult feathers yet. You have a question? <coughs> this is not a real egg. This is just a model. So you guys are welcome to come up and look at it and everything afterwards. Can we touch it? Yep. Um, if we have time at the end, like I said, if we stay quiet and everything, we can get there. But okay. So you see on the legs of these birds, they have different colors, right? And some people were asking, what are those colors on their legs? All right, so when we get the cranes, we bring them to a pen. We bring them to a pen down here, and we put bands on them. Okay, these bands help tell us what crane is what. Okay, so they each have their unique combination, so we can go out there and tell that's that bird or that's that bird. That's Bob. That's, yeah, we can, we, we, we give them numbers, so we know that's number one or number two or whatever, so we can keep up with them and make sure if one of them needs medical attention or we need to do anything with them, we know which one's which, okay? Now, um, we also need to be able to track them to make sure that they're, where they're moving and make sure that they're surviving okay out there. So, all of the cranes we get, we also put on, this is called a transmitter. This is a satellite transmitter. All of the cranes we get not only get a unique color combination band, but they also get this satellite transmitter. What this satellite transmitter does is it talks to the satellites up in the sky, and that information is relayed back to our computers and tells us exactly so where the bird is. just a little bit from our friends from Wildlife and Fisheries telling right. us about uh, so the habitat birds, and so the, track, the conservation track, efforts to, sure to maintain and sustain the, the crane population kind of here in Louisiana. Well. So, this hey guys, once again, this is Mr. Radio. Smith from Maplewood School, so this, and this look forward to talking to you again, uh, real soon again. Radio.